All right, so I'm in the car here, and I have a Sony head unit here that is capable of Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Uh, this one specifically is the AX100 uh, by Sony. And I have here a Google Pixel 2 XL. And uh, what I'm gonna do is go ahead and plug this in and try out, uh, try out Android Auto. And then I'll give you a comparison between this and uh, CarPlay. So let me go ahead and plug this in real quick. All right, so here's the home screen layout here. And just to go over that real quick, in the top left here, we have the current time. The top right, we have our uh, weather here in Fahrenheit. And I believe that would, you know, you'd be able to change that if you're, if you use Celsius. You have your uh, signal strength for the Wi-Fi as well as for the cellular. Obviously, if you're on the road, you're gonna be using cellular. And then you have your battery status here as well has a nice background here. Uh, you have your icons that you can go to that you can use, and uh, this can be rearranged. So on mine currently, I have maps, Spotify, play music, phone, exit, and settings. If you hit exit, that's gonna take you back to the home screen of the actual radio you're using. And then in my case, I have a Sony head unit here, and this is a Sony AX100. And this one has a Android Auto icon here, so it just goes right back in. You have on the bottom here, this persistent bar at the bottom. So this one is basically a home button. You have the current app that's playing music here. So it's Spotify. You have a uh, notification here for your notifications. And then you have the uh, Google Assistant right here that you can press, but you can also use the wake word. Okay, Google, what's the weather like tomorrow? Tomorrow in Jacksonville, it'll be sunny with a high of 65 and a low of 44. Okay, Google. Tell me a joke. Here's a holiday joke from Santa. Every once in a while, I get stuck in a chimney. It makes me feel... Claustrophobic! <laughs> <laughs> okay, Google. Show me gas stations nearby. And so it shows you uh, gas stations nearby. This one is closing in six minutes. But the ones that are here are, um, no, it takes six minutes to get there, excuse me. But this one is closing. And then it shows you the cost of uh, regular gas. And you can scroll down here and get directions to whichever one you want to uh, use. This one actually doesn't have the price of gas, but it has their, uh, the rating of the gas station itself there. So it's pretty interesting. So uh, just to give you an idea of how to change settings here, uh, when you hit this, it tells you you must go to the phone to change settings. So I'll show you that now. Okay, so here we are. So when you unlock the phone, it goes right to the Android Auto settings to show you. So these are a couple of the settings here. So we have uh, try the new Android Auto and you can actually still apparently use the old one if you wanted to. And I will show you that also. So I just wanted to go back into the settings to check, but yeah, there's really no way to actually rearrange the icons. You literally only have the option to select and deselect extra apps that you've installed uh, to show up on the screen, on the screen up here while you're, um, while you're using it. Well, it is kind of odd. I would think that, you know, if you have more than a couple apps, it's going to show up on a secondary screen. So I'm kind of curious about that. I may have to download some more apps and see if it does give you the option eventually, but I would think you'd be able to arrange them uh, how you'd like. Because say I want Spotify to be in that first spot where Maps is and not uh, have the Maps there. That's kind of odd. Um, I don't like that. But overall, I think it's nice. And I, I do like the layout. I think that they definitely made it better. And I think that Google Assistant is much, much better and much more responsive when using it versus Siri. So, yeah. Okay, and uh, if you wanted to see what the old uh, Android Auto looked like, this is what it looks like before. Uh, so you can still use that if you want to. And on the bottom here, you have, uh, you have your navigation, phone, the home button, your music, and then 
I believe that's probably settings. Uh, no, that's to return to the main screen of your radio. And it has kind of this card view here. So it shows you directions and then you have your, uh, so this is Spotify. So, and I apologize, my camera cannot pick this stuff up very well. For some reason, it just doesn't look very good. Um, I promise you it does not look washed out like this in real life, but uh, it looks a lot, I think the new one looks a lot better than this. Um, it has a similar menu layout for selecting music in Spotify. So very similar. Uh, instead of, so it does still have that persistent uh, bar at the bottom here. And instead of the uh, time being over here and the uh, cellular and battery over here, it's a little bit more, uh, a little down further and it's a little bit bigger, which I kind of like. So you have your cellular, you have your battery, you have your time. And then the uh, Google Assistant is way over here instead of being kind of front and center, which I think it should be, which is nice because the new one has it at the bottom there. So, um, but I guess they expect you to use the wake word is what they really want you to do. So here's Google Maps and it looks exactly the same as it does in the new one. So not a big deal there. And then you have your phone. And this one will also let you dial a number. So it looks like they updated most of the most of the system there. Um, but I do think that the new one looks a lot better. So we'll go back to the new one. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and try Apple CarPlay and I'll show you the differences between that. So we are on the home screen of the uh, radio here and I have my iPhone uh, 10, or I'm sorry, iPhone 11 here. And I'm gonna go ahead and plug the lightning port in here. So let me, let me do that and I'll be right back. Okay, it's now plugged in and it popped up right away here. So it popped up to the last thing I was using, which was Spotify. So let me go ahead and go to the home screen here and I'll show you what it looks like. So in here, um, you'll see that you have the uh, icons here for your apps that you have available. So in my case, I have phone, music, maps, messages, now playing, podcasts, audiobooks, calendar. You can swipe and you get more. So you have your settings, Google Maps, Spotify, and Waze. Um, on the top left here, you have your time, you have your cellular uh, connection. And you have, I have Wi-Fi. But if you were on LTE or 4G, it would show right there. On the side here, you have your most recently used apps and you can switch between them by just clicking these. So I can switch between all of those and do that. Oh, and look at that, it does have a keypad. I don't believe you were able to do that before on Apple CarPlay on the older one, but I'll have to look at that and see. And it's trying to wash my stuff out here. Okay, trying to focus, there we go. Okay, so on here, now if you wanted to go to settings on this, when you go here, it does give you some settings here that you can mess with. So um, on here you actually have the option of the appearance, so you can have it automatic or always dark. So basically automatic would have it light during the day and uh, dark at night. But basically because I have an aftermarket system, it would change when I turn the lights on or when I turn the lights off. And you have your do not disturb while driving suggestions and dashboard and showing the album art that's all the options you're gonna get so you get no options really there um, if you wanted to look at so the difference between Google Maps on there basically it's really similar in CarPlay and uh, really not much difference but uh, instead of having on Android Auto having the persistent bottom bar this one has a persistent left bar but you still have a nice view of everything and you can still get to everything. So you just tap here, you can recenter. You have your settings here for Google Maps, and then you can do um, the assistant here. Show me gas stations nearby. And so you get the same information that uh, Google Maps on Android Auto gave you with the cost of gasoline at the places, their address, and you can just tap one to go to it. So you get the same options. Now, unfortunately, uh, Apple doesn't allow the same kind of integration with the system that they allow Apple Maps to have. So Apple Maps gets to use this new dual view. Anyway, so with the Apple Maps, oh, it doesn't want to let me. Anyway, uh, with Apple Maps, you have, uh, it's a similar kind of map layout that you have here. You have a favorites, so you have your favorites that you have saved. 
and uh, you can tap here. You can search, you have destinations, so you can search here. And then you have the voice also. Where would you like to go? Show me gas stations nearby. One option is Shell on Old St. Augustine Road. And as you can see, it doesn't give you as much information. So you don't get the price, and uh, it's using Yelp. And I think Yelp sucks. That's just me. I don't know if you like Yelp, but I don't like Yelp. But the great thing is, you have this dual view. So you have this, you have suggestions here, and then you have your music. And this actually will be music that you're using in the app. Now, uh, the map view is great because when you are using navigation, it'll show you the next turn or the next uh, the next thing you need to do in this top left corner. But the problem is you can't use Google Maps for that. So if you use Google Maps, it has to be separate. So I like that it's uh, I like the way they integrate Apple Maps, but I don't like the fact that they don't allow you to actually use Apple Maps, I'm sorry, Google Maps in this dual screen view because I think that would be really, really helpful. I like the fact that you're able to have the map open at the same time and have the music and be able to control your music at the same time. Now, obviously this is much better than it was in the previous iteration. Uh, CarPlay kind of had some, uh, it wasn't the greatest, let's just say that. So this is a much better iteration. Uh, one thing that you can do on here is you can rearrange the apps, but you have to do that through the phone. So I'll show you that now. Okay, so here we are in the settings on the iPhone. So you would go into settings in general and then under CarPlay here. And it'll show you any cars that you have synced with. So uh, this is the only one I'm synced with. So on here, it gives you the option to customize it here. And here's your list of the apps that are available. And uh, you can include more apps if uh, you don't have them on the home screen. But here you actually are able to move them around. So I don't know why, but on, on, on the CarPlay, it doesn't allow you to do this. Or maybe I'm just looking at the wrong thing. But you're able to move them around here. And then uh, you can even reset it back to the way it was factory. So pretty nice. You also have allow CarPlay while locked and then forget this car. So allowing CarPlay while locked is basically you get in the car, you plug it in, you go. So like if your phone is just locked and you don't open it and you don't unlock it, it'll start it. You can also forget the car. So uh, basically if you go to redo it, you'll have to uh, reauthorize it to use the car. Okay, one thing I forgot to show was, was Siri. Hey Siri. What's the weather like tomorrow? Expect some clear skies in Jacksonville tomorrow. The high will be 64 degrees, and the low will be 42. My weather data is provided by the Weather Channel. Hey Siri. Hey Siri. Tell me a joke. Be right with you. Adele cross the road to say hello from the other side. Nice, nice. Hey Siri. Hey Siri. Show me gas stations nearby. One option is Shell on Old St. Augustine Road. All right, so there's there's an example there. Um, Siri kind of sucked. <laughs> Okay, so there's just been a quick look at the differences between Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. Uh, so this is Apple CarPlay on iOS 13 and the new version of Android Auto. So um, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave me a like. If you wanna see more content like this, please subscribe. And uh, if you guys wanna see a comparison between the older versions of uh, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, um, I do have the ability to do that. So just let me know in the comments down below. Anyway guys, I'll see you guys in the next video.